All right, guys, so back here, and you'll notice down the bottom of my notes, I had MIDI control change messages written here. And you'll see above, I put a little graphic table. And that graphic table is just representing how our control chain message is set up in particular in the Roland JDXI. But what is a MIDI CC? It's a continue controller or a control chain message. There's 127 spots with some commonly used, but just to sort of give us a little overview of how SysX, hexadecimal and MIDI kind of works, control change is a good start. Now, this table above shows table two, which is the status byte, it's the first number. This here, B2, is the status byte. In the link on the description below, there's a link to midi.org specifications table two. Click on it and have a look. There's a whole stack of cool stuff in there that you'll, you know, you, you'll recognize. And that's where these bits of information come from. Now in the second byte, this zero one number here, is the actual control chains message. And I'm gonna show you in a sec how we look that up. And the third byte is the value in this case. So these two here, uh, these two bytes come from table 13. And once again, that's a list of registered parameter numbers or RPNs. And there's a list in the description for table three below from the midi.org. Now, how do we set up a custom MIDI CC and how do we demo it? All right, so let's do this over here. And what I said is I was going to show you what these um, MIDI CC messages look like. All right, so let's have a look here at this program change. I want to set up in my little mapping that this first knob, which is the knob here you can see on the actual controller. All right, so we're going to set up a control change. We're going to use this volume one here. I've just randomly picked one out of the manual. This one's volume. I mean, pretty basic. So we'll call it volume. We need to do a channel message. We need to change that to a control change. The control number, oh, middle channel, because we're working on the analog part, it's middle channel three. Control number, as it says over here, is control number seven. So we put seven in, and the value is, it says it here, naught to 127. So we'll leave that as naught to 127, and we'll transmit that. Yes, we're going to overwrite it, and it's receiving. Should be finished in a sec. Okay. Beautiful. That works. Okay, so let's go back to our Mac screen. I want to have a look at this part here, the MIDI monitor. And I want to show you this bit here. As we're turning this knob, you'll see B207, and then the second column here, or third column, sorry, it's a whole bunch of numbers from 00 all the way to 7F. And we know that 7F is 127, and we know that 00 is 0. Right, so all I was doing, by the way, was just all the way to the right, and you can see the little white indicator there is pointing all the way to the right. And if we go back to this screen, you'll see 7F, go back to here, all the way to the left. The indicator's right to the left there. And this screen says zero, zero. Back to our manual, uh, it says control number seven, okay? And BN, in this case, uh, the N is the MIDI channel number and it said two, didn't it? Yeah, so it said two, right? And two is MIDI channel three because zero is MIDI channel one. In, in hexadecimal, okay, so two is actually the third one. Don't let this confuse you, but it does it automatically. So as you could see, when you allocated the MIDI channel in the controller here, it asks you the actual MIDI channel here. So don't get these confused. This is the real MIDI channel, the one that you actually need to know, and the calculation is done automatically over here. The 07 is that uh, control change program number, and, and the column is the value. So that's all pretty straight forward I think and I think now you guys are ready to have a look at a sysx message so let's just before we do that let's just go back to our little table here it said on the table above it said b2 and the example was 01 and that was just a random value of 1f which is what I've written here 
okay? Our example was B207 and whatever value it was. Uh, control change 01 on the JDXI is modulation 01, control change number one. So that example would, would be a control change for modulation. Easy peasy. Thank you.